A federal program helping millions of Americans feed their families is being targeted by thieves. We're talking about the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP. Before recipients even have a chance to buy their groceries, they're finding out their benefits have already been used by someone else. Investigative reporter Mallory Sofosti with Scripps News Baltimore has extensively covered this issue. She's joining us now live. So Mallory, um, what you've uncovered, it's made that much worse by the fact that these thieves are targeting people who need help the most. Yeah, Carolyn, families receiving this food assistance are having to beat thieves to their own benefits. We know this is happening across the country and sent a survey to every state in Washington, D.C. to learn the extent of this fraud. We found that this theft is costing taxpayers tens of millions of dollars, but it's also hurting families who need this program to put food on the table. Over here, the little stuff to make smoothies and stuff like that. Try to keep healthy. Burness Garrison has been keeping her grandkids healthy ever since they moved into her Baltimore, Maryland home in 2012. Their mother had just died and Garrison became their guardian. But with more mouths to suddenly feed, Garrison found herself struggling to make ends meet. So she turned to the federal government for help, like millions of Americans have done since 1939, when the original food stamp program was created. Today, that program has evolved into the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP for short. More than 20 million low-income households, including Garrison, get money from the federal government loaded onto special debit cards, like this one, every month to buy food. Um, on a fixed income, and the food stamps SNAP program ha helps a lot. But what captured our attention about Garrison's story is not how helpful these benefits have been to her over the years. It's why one day this money she relies on suddenly vanished from her SNAP card account. On the 11th of February, I went to the Northeast Market to buy the fresh vegetables and meats and things like that. Went to pay for it, swiped my card, and the young man behind the counter said, there's nothing on your card. She immediately contacted the agency in Maryland administering her benefits and was shocked by what they told her. The person that answered the phone said that my food stamps had been taken at a Target in Minnesota. I live in Baltimore City. How much was taken? $360. And how much food would that usually buy for you? Oh my goodness, a month worth for food, really. I asked was there any way they could help me with food. They told me no because they had to do an ongoing investigation. For more than a year, we've been doing our own investigation and discovered Garrison's case is far from unique. Federal food benefits are being stolen from families who use SNAP all across the country. To get a sense of the scale of this ongoing crime, Scripps News sent out surveys to agencies in all 50 states and Washington, D.C. We found at least 106,000 reports of stolen food benefits across 46 states, costing taxpayers more than $70 million. They know exactly when the funds are going to be put in the account. They're Commander John Haynes heads the Criminal Investigations Division of the Metropolitan Police Department in Washington, D.C. I know in the District of Columbia it's over a million dollars loss. But it is a shocking number. That loss, he told us, can be chalked up to this simple device. But literally what this is, is a skimming device. You can see there's, there's double-sided tape. A criminal simply lays the device on top of an existing credit card reader inside a store. You can see just how easily that can be done in this surveillance video we obtained from police in Washington State. Just looking at it, you, you wouldn't be able to tell that anything is, is different. It literally takes seconds to put on. When you swipe your card and you put your PIN in, it records your card number and information and then also captures your PIN number. And it can all happen in plain sight. Here you're watching a woman at a Walmart in Colorado holding up a towel to try to prevent surveillance cameras from capturing her partner as he snaps a skimming device into place. These criminals wait for someone to swipe their snap card and then will either sell the stolen data or use it to create fake cards like these, which they can use to buy items eligible to snap recipients. That's what the plan is. As soon as the money hits the account, spend it as quickly as possible. Who is behind this? There are groups of individuals that are 
for lack of a better word, or organized crime, that they travel throughout the country doing these things. Uh, last year, we had a wave coming up from Florida, coming all the way up the East Coast. Haynes told us there's no mystery why criminals find these SNAP benefits an easy target. It's because SNAP cards aren't equipped like most debit and credit cards with microchips that are designed to guard against skimming devices. It's a security flaw Maryland Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger wants to fix. But it needs to be done because that's the only way in the end you're going to stop it. He told us it was our reporting that led him to introduce legislation to beef up security for the SNAP program and provide permanent funding to reimburse theft victims. But what this is doing is lining the pockets of criminals and hurting all of these people who are in a less fortunate situation. And that's inexcusable. Until a new law is in the books, he told us benefits will continue to be stolen, impacting tens of thousands of people like Burness Garrison, who still remembers the day she discovered her money had been taken and had to explain it to her grandson. You know, it's like, okay, you'll survive, you'll survive, but you don't know how devastating it could be. I will need him to be a school word about whether he's going to have something to eat or not when he comes home. She told us her family has come to depend on this extra help every month, and she can't understand why the U.S. government allows this critical program to remain such an easy target for criminals. There's something wrong. There's something wrong in the system, in the programming, is the security, is something missing, something that it needs to be done. Fortunately, Burness Garrison received a replacement of her stolen benefits. However, it did take several months. Maryland was one of the first states in the country to begin reimbursements and passed a state law expanding who's eligible and for how long. But at the federal level, reimbursements are set to expire September of next year. So, so Mallory, what is the latest on efforts? Are there any efforts to make reimbursements permanent? Yeah, so Congressman Ruppersberger, who you just saw in our story, he's working to fold in his legislation into the farm bill. The current version expires in January. In the meantime, he and his colleagues in the Senate drafted additional legislation that would remove the current end date for federal reimbursements. That legislation was recently introduced and is currently being reviewed by congressional committees. Carolyn? Mallory Sofasti for us tonight. Thanks so much and keep us updated.